the bruising that she was talking about. How do you go from that? And then the next day, it's this. This is the next day, right? So, it's a little fucking weird. Yeah, I this is the penthouse. Uh, the guy in front of the elevator button, that's his uh, personal bodyguard. The other guy, uh, I've seen him before, but uh, the kitchen. I never interact with him. If I did, I don't remember. With the staircase, holy shit. You said he looked agitated. Right. Yeah, he looked agitated. Like, he was walking back and forward, he took his jacket. I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind on Ms. Bird's face. Do you see that? Correct. I was not looking for any marks or bruises or anything, uh, but it's something like that it will be really noticeable. Ooh. But I guess, you know, I was not looking. Man, if you're like an employee working in a building where a celebrity lives, if you saw a fucking bruise, you would fucking notice it. You'd be like, oh shit, there's a fucking person. Oh my god, there's a person. There's a person. I think even a normal person, like if you notice a normal person, they got like bruises on their face, you'd just be like, oh, uh, okay, well, let me stop looking now. But if it was like a celebrity, you'd just be like, oh shit, like you're gonna remember that there was like a bruise there. It's not just gonna be like a passing thought where it's like, okay, there was a bruise on Amber Heard. I'm gonna forget about it later on. You're gonna fucking remember because you're gonna be like, holy shit, oh my god. So like, one of the residents just said that there was like an altercation, police showed up and like, I saw her with a bruise in her face. Like you would fucking remember that, you know? Even though you're trying to do your job and you know, you're trying to be, uh, trying to keep your head low, trying to keep your head down and stuff like that. You're, you're still gonna fucking see it. You're still gonna fucking know. So I'm sure if he fucking saw a bruise, he would fucking remember. And it's not like in the security cam footage. I don't think she was even wearing glasses or anything to try to cover it up. Wouldn't it be normal for people if you got like bruises in your face, uh, you would just wear glasses and try to cover up or something maybe? She was just like walking around, you know, <laughs> no glasses or anything. And most of the damage was like around her eye area too. So she could have just worn some really nice big glasses to kind of like conceal it a little bit. Do you remember what hairstyle Ms. Heard had that night? Nope. Nope. Do you know what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing that night? No. Can you tell me whether she was wearing concealer or foundation? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing blush? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing any type of any kind of eye but if i remember correctly i think there are seven men i think yeah i think there are seven men uh that are part of the jury so it is possible that the lawyers is trying to drill down like hey men y'all don't really know if women are wearing makeup or not y'all can't tell anyways you know and so maybe they're trying to make it so it's relatable where like the the jurors the men are going to be like oh yeah like i don't know when my wife wears makeup i guess like what's like makeup that's like it's like different territory like, even if she was wearing makeup, we wouldn't even know. So I think that's uh, what they're trying to establish. No. So who wrote? <laughs> yeah, this guy's like, get me out of here. I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind in Ms. Bird's face. I'm pretty sure if I would have said something like that, I would have said something. Mr. Romero, I, 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 didn't, I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. <laughs> I don't just don't recall. I don't saw anything. She was just standing in front of me. I'm asking specifically, I did not notice any <laughs> Elaine. cuts, Elaine's getting sweat, angry. red marks, or any other injuries of any like, kind. Stop it. Just case. answer what I'm asking you. Were, Don't go beyond the scope. I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. That's what I said. Elaine's like, get this guy out of here. They asked me. They asked me if I remember seeing anything. And I just don't recall seeing any marks or bruises because she was just sitting in front of me. I just don't remember it. I mean, I guess the good thing about having like an animated person on video, it's really hard to steamroll over someone when it's on video, but it's easier to steamroll them when it's in person. So she's probably like, fuck. I not seen anything. <laughs> I just don't remember. If it, I, it would have been so obvious, like someone had like a black eye, I would have like, oh, you know. Exactly. I would have seen that. And exactly. Because Shit, because like, all, we all nosy see. at the end of the day. You're like so noticeable, like you will, all, like, you will remember. But when I was there talking to her, she was like three feet away from me. She was right in front of me. I just don't remember seeing any marks, bruises, or anything. <laughs> He's like, get him out of here, get him out of here. <laughs> he said it like 20 times already. We can't have him drill this down to the jury's head. <laughs> but you don't know whether she was wearing makeup to cover it, do you? No, I don't know. I, I, if she was wearing any makeup to cover it, probably, you know, the, the probably would you probably would cover any bruise. But you cannot cover the swelling. Yeah. Oh shit. Are you looking for swelling? <laughs> oh shit. No. True. That's what I said earlier too. You can cover bruises, but you're gonna have to wear a fuck ton of makeup, in my opinion. And then two, if it's swollen, it's fucking swollen. Your skin is lifted. It's it's not just gonna be like regular face, and then you're just like covering like a colored bruise. Your face is gonna be swollen and shit.
And just a reminder, this guy's not on Johnny Depp's payroll. He worked at the building that they were living at, yes. And then Johnny Depp, they shortly moved out afterwards. So this guy's not on like Johnny Depp's payroll or anything. I know people are a little bit like, oh, but if you're like Johnny Depp's security or if you're like his assistant, you're probably gonna be more prone to like be on Johnny Depp's side. Yeah, I can see that. But there are people that are not on his payroll. There are the police officers, right? There's this guy, front desk person. There's like some other front desk person that I think is gonna testify as well. This lawyer is asking all the questions I want the answers to. I know, ask something else, Elaine. Yeah, something else. Amber and Rocky, yeah. I always look into their eyes. Okay. And I will probably wouldn't notice like any swollen or bruise. Like I said, <laughs> I would probably wouldn't notice. Is it fair to say, Mr. Romero, that you can't say <laughs> that Amber Heard had injuries or did not have injuries that day on the 25th? I don't remember. Okay. Like I, said, I would have probably remember the swollen, the story, but I remember, I gotta tell the whole story, how they got there. Before they got, they went and get the keys, they come down, they say, somebody try to get into my unit, they scratch on my door and say, and like, um, um, I'm really sorry, but who will think it's gonna get into your unit because they saw some scratches on the door, like, what, four inches? above the door because the dog was crashing the door was trying to get in and they thought about someone trying to break in so apparently there was a dog that was scratching in the door trying to get in and then somebody thought that they were tr like i don't know if it was amber or them but they thought that uh someone was trying to break in to the, the, the unit i said on oh, my head i was like you really you think someone's trying to get into your unit <laughs> there's scratches like four inches above your the floor and your door oh four <laughs> He said that there was scratches four inches, okay, above uh, the door. So imagine like the whole door and imagine like four inches up. And so they said that there were scratches on their door and that they think that someone's trying to break into their unit. And the guy's like, it's probably just a dog scratching on the fucking door. Do you really think someone's going to try to break into your door, uh, your unit? That was the dog trying to get into dog. the unit. They were so afraid. Oh, someone's trying to get into my unit. They're like, oh, come on, really? And I actually went... They asked me to go inside the unit just to check room by room to make sure that no one was there. So I did that as part of my job, make sure they're safe. But I like really, I didn't understand why they want me to do that. This guy is like, I'm so over it. God damn it, these fucking residents. Fuck them. Yo, I feel, I feel for the people that work in my building though. Cause the, some of the residents here are a little bit fucking kooky. They're entitled. Some of them are selfish. A lot of them are assholes and a lot of them are not very grateful. So I do understand what a lot of our front desk people go through. Uh, I try to be really nice to them. Like, Except for the guy who's like the resident relations. Fuck that guy, okay? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just so stressed out because of this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm oh. tired. Oh. I don't want to deal with this court case. I, everybody got problems. <laughs> And I don't want to deal with this no more. Get me the fuck out of here! Why do I work for these people? Fuck celebrities! <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to put this with any more words. I, I I bet you the Amber Heard team they're never gonna call on him ever again. I mean I think he's a witness for Johnny Depp's side though. <laughs> yeah. Oh by the way, so remember how I was talking about his chunky rings? So Johnny always wears really chunky rings. Okay, and then so. Um, Amber Heard was like, yeah, you know, like imagine getting slapped by the rings like they fucking hurt. OK, well, these rings are so fucking chunky. You would get your bruises would be a lot more bigger, definitely more swollen. Look at the fucking rings they are fucking chunky as hell, man. Holy shit. They're like fucking knuckle brass knuckles almost. This is the same incident that you're talking about now. And she has mentioned that he has back slapped her. If she's black slapped her, the fucking chunky rings are come direct contact with her skin. Okay. You would have more than just like a and little bit of like busted about, lip. Okay, you spoke with Amber at the front desk, later started in the lobby, later went upstairs with her. It says the question at line six. I just want to go back for a second here. You said several times in answer to my questions that you uh -oh. didn't recall seeing any marks on Amber's face. When you say you didn't recall seeing any of those marks, any marks, did you mean that you didn't see any marks on her face? And your answer then was, I say that because when I saw Amber, I was not looking to see anything on her face. I was not looking to see anything. Do you recall giving that testimony on the under oath back at that time two months? <laughs> he cleaning his car right now. He's like, man, let me wipe down this dust right here. Some dust on the dashboard. Let me wipe this down. Yes, I, don't, I remember. Because like I said, I was, I always make eye contact with someone I'm talking to, but I'm not looking to find something like, like, oh, your makeup's wrong. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, you you haven't uh, have changed your eyebrows or your uh, eyelashes are not even or. <laughs> there are some people though you ever met people that like um this is mostly for people who wear makeup have you ever like worn your makeup and then you'll always have that one person that nitpicks your makeup uh, i remember when i worked at a restaurant i had a co-worker uh who would always nitpick my contouring and be like oh your eyebrows are uneven or your eyeshadow a little fucked up today and you're like fuck man god damn it <laughs> this guy's like i don't give a fuck i don't look at your makeup i'm not trying to criticize your makeup or anything i'm just trying to make eye contact i'm just trying to make <laughs> try to go on with my fucking day at work Looking for anything, I'm just looking at their eyes, and I look. I'm not looking for anything else. But if I see something, I will re probably will remember. Especially if it's you a celebrity, right? Yeah, I, I would have probably would see like if she had a swollen, like if she was wearing makeup, I probably would have been seeing the swollen. I probably would remember that. But I was not looking for anything. I was like, oh, you know. How, how swollen was Amber on the 25th of May? How swollen was her cheek? Well, re according to the pictures you, you, I've been seeing right now that you're showing me. It was pretty swollen. I would probably will remember that. And do you remember that there was pictures of wine, a glass of wine and bottle of wine, wine stained on the floor outside of the- Oh yeah, can they ask the, the cleaning crew? The penthouse from May 21st, 2016. I remember talking to Mark, I'm not gonna tell you what's wine. All right, well- you know, I'm, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of this deposition contains questions asked by counsel for Mr. Depp. <laughs> he lands like, cut him, cut him, fuck this guy. Page 19. Because I, I wanted to see what Amber Heard said about the staff. La 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 la. My interaction with the building security staff, including Ms. Summerlin and Ms. Esparza at the Eastern Columbia building was very limited because where their desk was located and how I typically assess the building, access the building. I rarely communicate with her or the other staff. I normally only enter the building via the car park downstairs. There is a lift from the car park directly to the penthouse level where I live, which meant I did not pass through the building lobby. I only walked through the building when I was entering or leaving the building by foot, which was rare for LA in particular for me as a celebrity with security. The only other reason to go to the lobby was to collect mail. This was typically done by the staff, assistants, housekeepers, etc., and not by me personally, although I did this a little more after I filed for divorce because Johnny's staff was around less. Even when I did pass through the reception, it is very large, old art eco reception space. I would pass the desk and the building security staff would be at the desk on my right-hand side, which uh, was at the very closest 10 to 15 feet away. This would have made it difficult for anyone at the desk to see my injuries. This was her response to the building people saying that they interacted with her uh, from the altercation leading up to when she showed up at the courthouse getting the restraining order with the bruises on her face. Uh, they said that they didn't notice any bruises on her face and that they some of them had like a close interaction with her. And so this is her saying that like, well, I don't really go to the reception area anyways. And if I really had to go up and down, I would just take the elevator that goes from the garage to my penthouse. And then like, if I had needed to get mail, well, I didn't really have to get mail anyways because other people did it for me. Although I probably had to do it, you know, after the divorce was going through. And then this is her saying that like, at the very closest, she was probably around 10 to 15 feet away from them. But um, there are security footage that does show her going up to like the desk area and like interacting with the staff. More lies. It is possible that she didn't remember, I guess, but I think it's bullshit. I mean, it's possible that she didn't remember, but I think it's BS. All right. I'm gonna try to move along. So the oh, he is vaping. incident was May 21st, 2016. <laughs> you saw her the night of May 25th, correct? Correct. You said right. that you saw Amber Heard hundreds of times. I think they well, she was the <laughs> were him for well, that. He said sorry. She to you in each of these hundreds of times? Yes, yes. I, I'm not gonna say no because she was really always nice. Oh no, she's be nice. Gotta move the All car. Right, this is my last question. You testified in response to Mr. Presidio's questions um, that you testified truthfully in all of these occasions. Did you testify truthfully, truthfully to everything that you testified in response to my questions today? That's correct. Uh, right. I, I did. Elaine's like, are you sure? Are you sure? All right. It's a good time to break for lunch. Uh, we'll just break a little early, so just don't talk to anybody. Don't do any outside research, and we'll see you at 2 o'clock, okay? Thank you. Uh, what was that dude's name? That was... Okay, so today, uh, video deposition was Officer Haddon. 
We had Officer Gatlin, uh, two different officers that uh, went to the penthouse after the altercation. Uh, Alejandro Romero, front desk, penthouse building. Nice. 